A man and a woman attempting to smuggle dozens of monkeys out of Thailand in June, caught by police along a highway north of Bangkok. The monkeys, in tightly secured bags, are squeezed into plastic boxes. One was found dead. Arrests like this have become more and more frequent since the COVID-19 pandemic. It's financially driven. There's a demand for the monkeys and the prices being offered are pretty high. These are long-tailed macaques which roam freely in both urban and rural communities. So this is not an unusual scene here in Thailand. Monkeys in public spaces interacting with humans. You can see they're not bothered by my presence, but it also shows how easy it is to take them for illicit trading. In Pechaburi province, authorities caught poachers who'd snatched monkeys from this temple. And Zhao, who sells corn to visitors for monkeys, says she's noticed fewer of them on the streets. The big ones are gone, they got caught. The little ones are all that are left. Some of the rescued primates are taken to the sanctuary to recuperate before they're released back into the wild. But animal welfare experts say those that traffickers manage to smuggle out of the country eventually make their way to China and the United States, where they're used as test subjects in labs. We've seen the evidence that the monkeys from Thailand are being shipped to these farms in Cambodia and in Laos, where they're actually laundered into some kind of a, a legal captive uh, population. The U.S. has also been cracking down on wildlife smuggling and has passed a law removing the requirement for drugs to be tested on animals before humans. But it is a lucrative trade, especially for those desperate for money. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Bangkok.